What's up, YouTube? For today's video, we will be full Magneton Evolution and Forms team. I will be using Magnemite, Magneton, Magnezone, and Sandy Cheeks. I mean, Sandy Shock. Sorry, they're very, very easy to mess up. You know, you go down to the beach and you sit on the sand and you get some Sandy Cheeks. Now, seriously, these Pokemon were fairly difficult to use because the only one that was really had some sort of speed about it was the Sandy Shocks. The rest were kind of slow Pokemon, which gave it a good challenge. I've got three battles today with the uh, evolution of Magneton and Forbes team, and I hope you enjoy. If you want to support the channel, people, make sure you hit that like button there and leave me a comment. What do you think about Sandy Shocks and, of course, the uh, Magnemite or Magneton evolution line? All right, first battle here, we've got a Spartheline, and it is going to be going for a Confuse Rain. Now, I've got this little Magnemite here. It is a Queen. Big Claw Sturdy Set, I've got Steel Beam, Thunder from Down Under, Volt Switch and Terror Blast. I've got a Terror Blast Grass and I've got Max Health and Max Special Attack. So I managed to get a critical hit there on the Steel Beam and that is going to be the end of the S Path, which was a solid, uh, you know, start to this battle. Uh, this is a battle against Dan, the man as well. Uh, this is on my Discord, I believe. So next Pokemon is going to be uh, Vaporeon. I was like, well... I'd love to get a Thunder off here, but I doubt it's probably going to happen. So Vaporeon's going to go for a Mud Slap. I was like, yep, I'm definitely not getting the uh, Thunder off here. So I'm confused, and I've got a negative one in accuracy at the same time. And you wouldn't read about it. I managed to get a Thunder off here, and Vaporeon gets paralyzed as well. What is going on with the RNG so far? So I was like, okay, well, I, I might be able to get around this. If I can get a Volt Switch off, this would be absolutely incredible. So I'm going to go for Volt Switch here. Vaporin is paralyzed. Actually, Vaporin kind of looks different to normal. It sort of looks smaller. Or maybe it's the pose it's sitting in. I don't know. Anyway, so I get around all the scum there, and I managed to get off a Volt Switch on Vaporin. And Magnemite has taken out Esparta and Vaporin. <laughs> what the heck? That's... Yo, the, the, the video should get a like just for that. That was crazy. Now, we're going to go into Magnazone. I'm in the zone here, and this is a Choice Scarf Magnazone. So, this is a pretty good set, this one. On this team, I had, like, two memes and two, like, uh, you know, reasonably competitive sets. So, where comes uh, Reveroom? Now, I've got Thunderbolt, Flash Cannon. We've got Volt Switch and Terra Blast Water. Ability is going to be Magnet Pool. I like to pull those magnets off the fridge. I like to do that when I was a kid. And I've got the Choice Scarf as the item. So, we've got Max uh, Speed and Max Special Attack Team in Nature. So, Reverum is going to have OV. Yes, it actually does get OV on a special set, which is pretty cool. And my Magnemite is going to take a critical hit there. Magnezone would have got absolutely, like, destroyed by that. So, I'm glad I went for the Volt Switch in that situation. Now, Reverum is going to going to have the white herb there. Obviously, when it uses OV, that's for, you know, preventing the stat drop. So, I guess it can use it again. This thing is a threat, so I do need to take it out. So, I've got Volt Switch or I've got Thunderbolt again. I didn't really want to get, uh, like, locked into the Thunderbolt. So, I knew that Volt Switch would be a two-hit KO. And that is enough to take out the Rev of Room, which is good. So, that's the, uh, that's half the team down. I've got three more Pokemon left. Also, on this team, I ran all the abilities that this, uh, this evolution line could get. So, Magnemite had Sturdy, uh, uh, the Magnezone had Magnet Pool, and obviously I uh, did Analytic on the Magneton. So next Pokemon is going to be Breloom. I've got this uh, physical set here on Magneton. Now, I used to run this as a curse set, but since there's no like, virtual console transfer at the moment, I had to just go with uh, Screech and Garibaldi. Unfortunately, it's nowhere near as good as the curse one, because, you know, the curse one, you already get those stat boosts yourself. You don't need to rely on Screech. The opponent can swap, and you also get quite bulky, too. So we got a Brello me. It's, uh, it's, it's crying a little bit, and it's going to drop my special defense. So I'm like, what is going to happen here? So... I've got the, uh, I actually got put to sleep by the Spore, and then I went for Sleep Talk. I'm like, oh, this will be a nice little surprise for the Broly. I don't think it's going to be hitting very hard, though. I'm going to need, like, at least one Screech for it to do anything. Now, this was a Everlight Magneton. We've got Analytica, Zibirthi, Garibald, Screech, Sleep Talk, and Rest. So this Breloom's got Focus Miss. It's a special set, and I get absolutely dominated in one shot. They're like, oh, no, this is very, very bad. This is a threat. Special Breloom, people. Only on Pimrush Show. So we're going to slide back into Magnezone here. I've got Flash Cannon. I was like, I don't know where the Flash Cannon's going to faint this. I think it's going to get very, very close. So I went for the Flash Cannon there. Breloom is going to be swapping out. And we got the Tauros swapping into Flash Cannon. Like, oh, this is bad. So 
Uh, Paldean Taurus is going to come in. It's got the Intimidate, which is not going to matter at all. I've got that special Magnezone. And I actually have to say one thing, too. I do like the metallic look of the Pokemon like Magnezone uh, in uh, Generation 9. That was one good thing that was done there. So I can't do much here. I was thinking about going for a Terra Water, then going for Flash Cannon again, going for the Special Defense Roll. I was like, nah, I'm going to go into Sandy Cheeks here and see what we can uh, do. So uh, with this set, we've got a Special Attacking one. I've got the Booster Energy as the item. Uh, with the Magnezone 2, that is a Max Special Attack, Max Speed Set with Tim and Nature, if I didn't mention that already. So Taurus is going to go for a Workup there. That's going to boost its Attack and Special Attack. I don't know what sort of set they're going to run. It might be Physical. It might be special. You never know on Pim Nice Channel, people. So we're going to go for Earth Power here. I've got the special attack rise, and that's going to take the Taurus out in one shot. So this is a uh, this is a pretty competitive set, but I do have a little bit of meme on there. We've actually got a Gravity and Zap Cannon set, Earth Power and Power Gem, and Booster Energy as the item. Next Pokemon to come out is going to be Persian. So like, well, I'm probably going to need to get Gravity up and then go for the Zap Cannon. Because Persian is, yeah, it's probably going to miss, right? So Persian is going to be their terror, and it's going to be a terror normal Persian. So I don't know what sort of set this is going to be, but I'm thinking it might. If it's a physical one, it might have, like, Fake Out or something like that. And now they're going to go for a Terra Fake Out, which is going to do, you know, a pretty good amount of damage there to Sandy Shocks. Now, Sandy Shocks has a pretty good defensive stat. It's got, you know, all right, uh, all round bulk, which is pretty nice. So I've got Earth Power. I know that's not going to faint. I've also got Zap Cannon. So here comes a Terra Slash. Oh dear, so here it comes, and Sandy Shocks just lives the crit, which is awesome, on 17 health. Here comes a Zap Cannon, Persian just gets one shot up by that, which is awesome. Now, with the Zap Cannon, uh, there is still a chance under gravity that it can miss, but it's not like super duper high. So that's the end of the Persian. This last Pokemon is going to be the Breloms. Like, okay, I've got no moves that I can do. Like, what can I do? I've got Zap Cannon, I can't paralyze it. I've got Earth Power, and I've got Power Gem. The best play here is to go for the Earth power and try and go for that special offensive drop and you know that's really all I can do so now the Breloom's going to go for a Giga Drain there so it's got Fake Tears, Spore, Focus Miss and Giga Drain it's a fully special Breloom actually not a bad shiny too Breloom it's like a, uh, a little ready orange sort of uh you know, walking mushroom. So it's got the poison yellow ability too, if you, you didn't already guess that one. And we've got a uh, Magnezone here as my last Pokemon. I've got the Choice Specs, uh, sorry, Choice Scarf. It's like, all right. I've got Flash Cannon here. I'm not going to go for Terra Water this turn. I want them to go for a Focus Miss. And it lived on like one health. You wouldn't read about it. So before going for the Focus Miss, they went for the Spore. Oh, no. So I'm like, all right. They're probably going to go for Focus Miss this turn, right? What I should do here is go for the Terra Water. That way, Focus Mist won't be super effective and Magnezone will be able to live it. And then hopefully I'll wake up. That's the only thing I can uh, sort of hope for here. You know, Magnezone's eyes are closed at the moment. So go for Terra Water Magnezone. It actually isn't all that bad on Magnezone because you can you can get those uh, nice water KOs on Pokemon that you know probably wouldn't expect it. Like, you know, ground-type Pokemon and things like that. Uh, and fire-type Pokemon especially, you know. Magnezone really does draw them out. So Breloom, instead of going for the Focus Mist, is going to go for a Fake Tears. Like, oh no, I'm definitely going to Fake to a Giga Drain the next turn. So here it is, people. The moment of truth. I pressed the A button on Flash Cannon, and I woke up. You wouldn't read about it. And that is going to be the end of the Breloom. And that's also going to be the end of the very first battle. That was a crazy close battle there. I, I absolutely will admit I got insane luck at the start there with the Magnemite and some nice luck there waking up uh, so quickly on the Breloom. Thank you, Dan, for the battle. A uh, really cool team there. I have some really cool sets. Let's get on to uh, battle number two. This is a battle against a peep slot. I've seen a little shiny wing goal there on the, uh, the trainer card. I don't know what sort of set this, uh, sort of like theme team this is either, or if there is a theme team, so if anyone could guess, uh, let me know about it. So, uh, first Pokemon is going to be Weavile. So, I've got my uh, little Magnemite here, and I'm going to go for the Steel Beam. It's a special Weavile, no flinchy flinch, which is good, and now I'm going to fire that Steel Beam right out of my eyeball. Unfortunately, the Weavile is going to have the uh, Focus Sash. I was hoping that Quick Claw would activate here, so I could actually faint the... Um, the Weaver and go for the Volt Switch. I thought that would be the best play. Or I could go for Terra Blast. It didn't really matter. And unfortunately, it never happened. Weaver is going to faint me. That would have been amazing. Then I could have, you know, possibly gone for another Steel Beam or, you know, swapped into another Pokemon. So that's the end of Magnum 
might be the you know, quality performance still. And we're going to go into Magneton. I can go for a Gyro Ball here. Normally, if I had my curse set, I'd, I'd be able to set those curses up. But uh, in this case, I'm just going to finish off. So here comes the Dank Pulse again there. I don't want to get flinched by this thing. Um, it, it may even have Nasty Plot too. You never know. So that's the end of the Weavile, which is good there. I mean... Let's be real though, Weavile was probably the least threatening Pokemon uh, for me to deal with, you know, having all the Steel types on my team. Next Pokemon is Bro dot 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 dot. Anyway, uh, we've got uh, Garibald here, and I can do, uh, really do nothing, so I have to swap the Magneton out, and I'll leave it. Uh, I'll leave it for another Pokemon. So now I'm going to go into the Magna Zone. Now this Slowbro on the swap actually used Trick Rooms. So like, all right. Uh, I don't know if this has got Flamethrower or not. I, I really can't risk it because Magnezone is one of the best Pokemon on this team. And when I'm using four Pokemon, it can be quite difficult, uh, you know, when I'm versing 6v6 teams. And, you know, once Magnezone and Sandy Cheeks go, it, it's pretty hard to do much with a physical Magneton and a Steel Beam Magnemite, let's be real. So go for the Terra, uh, Terra Water here. Uh, I've got my Clown Hat on there. Clown Mode is activated. And I'm hoping that I can get some decent damage here on the Slowbro, going for, like, Thunder bolt so it's gonna go for a waterfall it's a physical set and i see what they're doing here so it's like a flinching uh flinching slow bro which is pretty mean now the slow bro is gonna go for a headbutt and it also flinches to me like come on this can't be happening i'm not losing to a flinching headbutting slow bro so here comes headbutt number two here i don't get flinched for the third time in a row which i'm very very happy about and the slow bro is gonna fade there it was almost a disaster battle there <laughs> thank goodness so that's two Pokemon down. Now the Trick Room is still around out, and here comes the Blissey. So I'm like, all right, Blissey. There's not much I can do to Blissey. It's very, very uh, you know, bulky, and I may as well just go into my Magneton, since I am choice uh, choice Scarf, right? So I'm going to go into Magneton, and what I'm going to do and do here is go for a couple of Screeches and hit it with Gyra Ball. The only unfortunate thing is, this is the only physical set on my team, so... If I do go for Screech, the only Pokemon that's going to get any benefit from is actually going to be the Magneton. So I sort of have to watch what I'm going to do. Sometimes it's better if I just do some damage there. Uh, Bliss is going to swap out and in comes Intoxtricity. I'm like, oh no, this is very, very bad. So <laughs> I'm probably going to get countered there, I'm thinking. So it's going to go for a Thief. I think it's a Technician set. Um, since it's got an item, uh, that's not going to be stealing my Everlight, which is good. So I'm sort of wondering what kind of item this actually has here. So what I'm going to do is go for Screech, because I know Gyra Ball's still going to do like nothing here. They're continually going for Thief over and over. If they are running a physical set, I know it moves pretty well. It doesn't have too much to hit me with. It either have like a Poison move, an Electric move, and Thief is like a... Um, uh, sort of like a uh, neutral damage move there. So I'm guessing they didn't have a lot to hit me there, especially with a, a physical set. They may have had shift gear. That's about it. Uh, but then again, it would have taken like a, a thousand shift gears to do anything. So in comes the Rotom oven there, and that is the end of the... Uh, that's the end of the Magneton. It got roasted. It got put inside the oven and cooked. This Pokemon is actually a pretty big threat. So I'm going to go into the Magna Zone here. I've got the Terra Water. I've hidden it all along here. I have to take Rotom out because it's got Charge Beam and it is quite threatening. So here comes the Terra Blast Water. And Cooked, unfortunately, is going to be able to live that and finish me off with the Charge Beam. This is bad, people. This is very, very bad. All I'm down to now is the Sandy Cheeks. But Magna Zone did a very, very good... Uh, job there. So it was excellent that I got to use the Terra Water in that matchup. Even in a competitive matchup, you can you, know, you can come in like uh, Pokemon Electric type Rotoms and things like that, and uh, any of them really, and you can go for the Terra Water and surprise. So my last Pokemon here, my last Pokemon standing on its big uh, magnets, I guess you could say. I actually quite like the design of this Pokemon. Like, uh, I guess when you do like those, you know, those side experiments, you can get all the little, um, I, I guess it's like the, the magnets that go in different shapes like that. I, I, I can't remember what it was, but you could sort of do like, you rolled this thing out and it went into all like these spiky shapes. I did it in science class once. I just can't remember. It was like a long time ago and stuff like You know I'm 69 years. So these, these things are hard to remember. So uh, we got the Blissey coming in, which I knew was going to happen. What I'm going to do is go for gravity. The Blissey doesn't understand the gravity of the situation because I'm going to go for a Zap Cannon 500 times in a row. So Blissey, it's a physical set. It's going to go for Ice Punch. I'm like, oh no, don't you dare. 
I'm thinking what they're trying to do here, they've got a Serene Grey set. Well, I'm hoping it's not a Serene Grey set, but I've got this bad feeling that it is right. So I'm going to be firing off these Zap Cannons under the, uh, you know, under that gravity. It is hitting pretty hard. Bliss is going to go for another Ice Punch here on my Sandy Cheeks. I've got my final Zap Cannon and Blissey lives. I'm like, okay, I only need one more to take it out here. It's going to hit me with another Ice Punch and I get Freeze Hacks. You wouldn't read about it. So... My sandy cheeks are, are sandy and they're frozen. It's like, okay, you're on a beach, right? It's early in the morning and you sit you, know, you, you sit down in the sand and it's really, really cold. That's what that's what's happening right now. Unfortunately, Bliss is going to actually freeze hacks me and defeat me. So people, you probably won't see this very often, but physical Blissey is just straight power, you know? That's the end of the first battle. I'm very, very salty. And uh, yeah, let's get... You know what? Let's pretend that battle never happened. Let's get on to battle number three here. This is... <laughs> <laughs> this is a battle against uh, Super Bowser. I can't believe that. I, you know, I knew deep down. I knew that freeze axe was coming. You know, I just, I just knew it. So uh, we got a, uh, a battle here, a Glimora Elite. I've never seen one of them in my life here. I actually got a Quick Claw on the Steel Beam, which is really, really cool. So the Glimora is going to get it really, really hard there. Unfortunately, Glimora is going to have a Focus Ash. You know, such a rare item for Glimora to run. Now, Glimora is going to go for a hard, and I'm like, what is going on here? Is this a rollout hard in Glimora? <laughs> Surely not. So here comes the Ancient Power. Ancient Power is not going to do much to Magn uh, Magnemite. I don't think they had a lot to do with me. Obviously, they didn't have Earth Power, and that's going to be the end of Glimora. So I would have... I you know, really liked to know what that Glimora say was. I got a, I got a sneaking suspicion though it was roll out. So I'm going to swap out with my uh, Magnemite Volt Switch and I'm going to bring in the Magneton. Now the next Pokemon to come in is going to be uh, Low Kick. So Low Kicks, I, I'm thinking it won't be able to do a lot to me unless it's got like a, maybe a fighting move, like it's a uh, signature little move there. So it's going to go for a Detect. I went for Screech because I'm going to try and drop its defense so I can get a little bit of damage with Gyro Ball. Now they're going to swap the low kicks out. I'm like, okay, fair enough. And in comes Swordspark. What do we got? A Swordspark uh, Autumn. So Swordspark is going to get hit by the Screech here. Also, one thing, I will be doing a Swordspark team too. I've actually never done one before, so I'll be doing like, you know, all the dealings, all the Swordspark. So I'll probably reckon I'll get to that one in around... Let's say February, March. Around there, I believe I'm going to be able to do that. Uh, anyway, we got the Swords Bite going for a Sand Attack. What is this? Now, I do know this Pokemon does get Serene Grey, so I'm sure it's something scummy like that. So I got a good quality hit there with a Gyro Ball there. I don't think they have much to hit me with outside of Horn Leech here. That was a critical hit too, so that was doing absolutely nothing. So Gyro Ball is a two-hit KO. I just have to land the attack. The problem is it only has like a little bit of, uh, you know, PP too. So I have to rely on Rest and Sleep Talk if it does get low. Fortunately, I managed to get that off, and that is the end of the Swords Butt, which is awesome. Next Pokemon is, uh, we got Dondozo, but for some reason, it's nicknamed Bendozo. I think they're trying to roast me, because, you know, I always call it Water Snorlax, and, you know, now it's called Bendozo. I think they're calling me a Water Snorlax, but anyway, that's definitely not the, yeah, that's definitely not what it is. So I'm going to go for the Screech here. Uh, this thing has got insane bulk, and it's probably got Unaware as well, so I'm thinking... Even if I, let's let's be real here. If I use three Screeches on this thing, I'm probably going to do like three damage. So uh, now they're going to swap out Dondozo. They're obviously not liking the uh, defensive drops. And in comes Wattrell. Oh, Wattrell, yeah. Um, I, I, I said, what's up? So it's going to go for a uh, dual wing beat here. Dual wing beat actually misses. And I'm sort of curious what this set's going to be. Is it a physical set with Everlight or something like that? Now it's going to go for dual wing beat. Dual wing beat <laughs> individually. <laughs> Each hit did two damage, so it did nothing. It's like, oh, I might be able to use Screech here. I might be able to beat a Wattrell in a children's game of Pokemon. It could happen here. So now Wattrell's got to swap it. They kept swapping out my Screech. I was getting very, very salty. In comes Ben Dozo again here. You know, you know Don Dozo is a, is a very uh, good-looking Pokemon. You know, I like blue too, so I don't mind it. So it's going to have leftovers. So, so le let's be real. Leftovers is healing off all the Gyro Ball damage I'm doing. I can't do anything. I don't want to swap out here. Magneton is virtually dead weight. So I'm just going to you know, let the Magneton faint. And then I can swap in either Sandy Shocks or Magnezone to try and take it out. So, okay, we'll go Magnezone. I think it's barely just going to leave a Thunderbolt. So what I'm going to do is go for Volt Switch here. And then I can probably bring it back in. So Volt Switch does a little bit more than I thought. I was like, oh, okay, yep, Thunderbolt would have taken out. Doesn't matter. I did a lot anyway. So now I'm going to bring in the Magnemite here. Magnemite is... Definitely not going to leave a liquidation, and then I can possibly bring in the Magnezone afterwards. So here comes the liquidation, and that is the end of our Magnemite. I really do like Don Donzo. It's like a really cool Pokemon. I want to say, 
Uh, Don Dozo and Palafin Hero are probably the two best uh, like non-legendary Pokemon uh, in uh, Scarlet Vine. They're just so good. So we're going to bring in Magnezone here. Out goes the Don Dozo. I thought they might keep it in because it's only got a bit of health. And in comes Tropius. Good to see Tropius again. Now I'm going to go for the Vault Switch here on Tropius. Good damage though. And we're going to swap that Magnezone out and go into Sandy Shock. So I'm like, okay, well... I wonder what this is going to do. Maybe Air Slash or some trolling set? I don't really know. So I've got that uh, I've got that item which is going to activate, give me a special attack boost. Tropius is going to obviously get outsped here, and I'm going to go for the Power Gem. So that's the end of the Tropius, which is really good. And I don't know what sort of set it would have been. So the next Pokemon is the Low Kicks. Now, my opponent actually hasn't gone for a Terra yet. Maybe they were terrified, but now they are going to go for a Terra. And it is actually going to be Terra fighting. So like, oh, I know what this is probably going to be. It's probably going to use its signature move, Axe Kick. And Axe Kick is a fighting move, obviously. And it does have a chance of confusion. So I went for Gravity Thirst because I wanted to go for those um, Zap Cannons, you know. So here it comes, Axe Kick on my Sandy Cheeks. It does a lot of damage there. And I, of course, I got confused. I'm like, come on. Here we go again. So that has a 30% chance to confuse. So all i got to do is get rid of this Pokemon. I really I have to get rid of this Pokemon right now. And Zap Cannon lands, and I get through the scum, which is awesome. So that's the end of the low kicks. All that's left now is uh, Wattrell and Bendozo. That's the only Pokemon on the left there. So out comes Wattrell. I was like, I wonder what uh, if it can actually outspeed me. It's got Quick Attack. Quick Attack does 10 hill. I snap out of Confusion, which is great. And now Wattrell is going to take the full load straight to the face. And that is the end of that, which is awesome. There's only one more Pokemon left, which is a Dondozo. I could take this out with any move. I was going to go for a Disrespect. I was like, no, nah, I'm going to go for Zap Cannon here. And that is the end of the Dondozo. And that is also the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed all the battles. A really cool fun team to do. I'll have a moveset guide up a little bit later. Peace out people.